wind-powered work of art. <laughs> I always thought those things were power line decorations. Watch how high I can make it go. Too much string blades! Look out for that! Tree. If it had an engine, propeller, or even rudimentary steering, that could have been avoided. But then it wouldn't be a kite. That's Taylor's plane! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Save. Not over yet. Uh, oh. uh, somebody told Doc to evacuate the lab. The steering's gone. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You say they were poking the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Thanks to the new collision from Cannon that Boulder and I collaborated on. Quick thinking, Doc. That foam put the fire out, too. Not a benefit we intended. We're smarter than we thought. You can release the plane now, Doc. I wonder what caused the engine to catch fire. The way the controls froze, I'd say it was an electrical short. Real question is, what made the plane turn back toward the island after Taylor ditched it? Suppose it could have been gremlins. <laughs> oh, right. Gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> what are gremlins? Here. A gremlin is a mischievous creature that disables machinery and electronics. The very nerve. What does a gremlin look like? Those things get into machines? Well... That would explain the many mechanical maladies that seem to plague this island. Runaway lawnmowers, for instance. I don't think... And Mr. Harrison's malfunctioning helipack. And how about my problems flying at high altitudes? That would be your fear of heights, Blades. Nope. Gremlins. Says here, gremlins are just myths made up by people looking for something to blame when things go wrong. Now that I believe. You know what else is considered a myth? Aliens. And yet... I can't fly this thing! Gremlin! Huh? 
Crumlin? Everything okay? Just covering Danny's night shift, buddy. Didn't you just work the night shift? Nice of you to keep track. I heard you call out like you were having a nightmare. Cody, just go back to bed. Maybe you should talk to Doc Green. He used to have nightmares too, until he came up with a way to get rid of them. Well, good for him. But I can handle a bad dream. Why don't you just go back... Griffin Rock Emergency. I'll take care of it. Wind turbine tower's coming loose. We have to secure it. Okay, but isn't this two night shifts in a row? I'm a night person. Uh, thought you might need some help. <sighs> All right, buckle up. Just need tightening. He wave brace the tower. I'll check the other side. Okay. Cade? I can't believe I dosed off. That's not all you did. You put Cody in danger. But I'm fine, Heatwave. Rescuers have to be on top of their game. Cade, get some sleep. I want to. I'll go see Doc in the morning. Morning, Cody. Where are you off to so early? Oh, uh, over to Frankie's. Cade mentioned he and Heatwave were going to the lab, too. Father's intuition is telling me something is up. A sibling intuition, too. And Rescue Bot's intuition, I think. Remind me to look up intuition. Uh, Kay didn't want me saying anything, especially to Graham and Danny. Let's hear it. <sighs> He's been having bad dreams about gremlins. Doc's gonna help him. Oops. This is probably our fault. Probably? What happened? When we were little, Danny and I would tell Kate scary gremlin stories because he was always bossing us around. It kind of gave him nightmares. But if gremlins aren't real, why would Kate be afraid of them? Because everything feels real in a nightmare. It's like having your worst fears come to life. Then my nightmare would undoubtedly contain a town where no one broke the law, rendering me useless. <sighs> Mine would be cumulus clouds. Seriously, they're nature's shapeshifters. Danny, Graham, for your sakes, Doc better be able to help Cade. Well, Cade, in most cases, nightmares abate over time. But I've invented a way to speed up the process. The Nightmare Imaging Device. You lie inside this soundproofed sleep chamber, wear the Neural Impulse helmet, then fall asleep. Once you begin dreaming about gremlins, 
they will be recreated inside this energy chamber exactly how you imagine them. What do you mean, like, for real? They'll look real, but they'll only be made of energy and crystal particles, like a hologram that's solid. A gremlin could be made of pudding, and I'd still have nightmares. But once you wake up and face your fears in the light of day, you'll see they're not nearly as frightening as you imagined. Then we shut the machine off and the gremlins disappear. And chances are, so will your nightmares. Okay, Doc. If this gadget will get rid of my gremlins, I'm in. Neural impulse helmet secured. Power on. Now, Kane, simply let yourself fall asleep and... All right, then. Doc, I want your word this isn't gonna hurt him. He won't feel a thing, Heatwave. I promise. contain only a limited amount of energy. Once that energy is used up, the gremlins will vanish. I'm waking Kay before he dreams up any more of those things. Nap time's over. I was dreaming about lots and lots of... We know. Yeah! <laughs> Why aren't the gremlins disappearing? Ah! Yeah, shouldn't they be running out of energy by now? The gremlins are recharging themselves by siphoning electricity through anything that's plugged in. Cured yet? I think I want to go back to sleep. Whew. The little scamps have blown the breaker box. Now they'll be vanishing any minute. are now drawing power out of anything with a battery. Resourceful little creatures. So maybe I am cured. They fried everything! Well, at least it's over. Is it? We have gremlins who crave energy on an island full of technology. I'm afraid this is far from over. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Grim, Danny, the whole town is being invaded by gremlins. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, did Kate put you up to this? No! Just look outside! <laughs> right. I'm sure. Ah. <laughs> Mythical creatures, these gremlins sure are lively. And kind of cute. They are real! I knew it! They're manifestations of Cade's nightmares, made up of crystal particles. They only look real. So they're basically walking cartoons. <gasps> cartoons aren't real? Authentic or not, these dreamscape delinquents appear to be stealing electrical energy. <laughs> Apparently that energy is what's keeping them going. <laughs> Everyone, remain behind us. This is worse than cumulus clouds. Get off! If you little tykes are looking for electrical energy, you won't find any on us. Only Energon here. Step away, mischievous superstitions. Oh, the gremlins are barbecuing the electrical systems of everything they pull energy from. Hey, hey, how are we supposed to stop them from wrecking every last piece of tech in town? With bait. Power up and energize. What Doc says is accurate. These things will vanish once we cut off their source of electricity. Well, well, looks like you guys had all the fun. Too bad I was ready to tangle with those little rascals. <laughs> yeah. Them. But they're heading northwest. There's not much out there for them to... Oh. It's a power plant. If those things fry the power grid like they've done to everything else, Griffin Rock will be crippled. What if we shut down the power plant first? That would save the grid, right? As well as vanquish those cackling energy thieves. It would. Vehicle modes, now! Looks like you'll have your chance to tangle after all, Hotshot. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Should we let Graham take the lead at the power plant? I mean, the guy lives for this kind of thing. You forget something, Cade? Like maybe the firefighter's code? First through the door. Or sometimes the wall. Maybe you should... I can't pass... No. Kate, if you don't face these things down, you'll live with them forever. Now, are you getting out, or do you need a push?
<laughs> Told you you could do it. Psh, ever any doubt? Once are gone, all is good, not to brag, but I so rocked it. What a relief. Now, feel like tackling some shape-shifting clouds next? I'll have to run a diagnostic, but it looks like the power grid didn't sustain any damage. Hey, Squirt, tell Doc to deliver his nightmare imaging debacle straight to the best left forgotten section? Definitely. Take a few days off, son. Get some rest. Okay, Danny and I... We're really sorry for teasing you. Don't worry about it, sis. They're gone now. Every drooling, big-eyed, disgusting, slimy, scary one of them. Pleasant dreams. <laughs>